Nicole and I were on the War Room program last night, and we were on the War Room program actually just now. And it was a huge crowd. There was a huge reaction. The crowd was rallied up. What, what was it like? Describe to our audience. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I get, you know, the privilege to interact with the audience, you know, more or less every day, especially at these events, being the co-host and executive editor of the show. But I would say like half of the people that I meet who are fans of the show, they always bring up taking down the CCP. They love the song. They love you guys. And I think it goes to the fundamental issue which you guys focus on, which is education, because the distinction between the Chinese Communist Party and China is a very nuanced thing to I think uh, explain to people but once they get it you can see it crystallize in their eyes so quickly and you guys do such a wonderful job at kind of interlinking the threat that the Chinese Communist Party poses not just to the people of China the Lao Beijing but to us here in the United States and I really really think that that message resonates um, not just financially but culturally socially politically and really every way shape and form with the war room policy and really America writ large the message that you guys promote, like you said, it transcends the borders of China, right? It impacts us here at home. And I really think that there is sort of an unspoken alliance between the working classes of China, the regular people, and the working classes in America, because we both have really been disadvantaged and hurt intensely by the Chinese Communist Party. And I think Steve does a wonderful, wonderful job of really converging those narratives and helping people understand that the threat that the Chinese Communist Party poses to the Chinese people is tantamount, if, if not even greater, um, to the American people.